Hello, I'm Jeff Singh from Mayo Clinic Division of Computational Biology. Thank you for visiting our poster. First, a little bit of background about our work. Aerodigestic cancer, i.e. lung and major cancer from GI tract, such as, such as colorectal, lung, esophageal, stomach, and pancreatic cancers account for more than a third of new cases and more than half of total deaths in the U.S. Early diagnosis for those cancers are very important. One of the appealing methods right now is to use non-invasive biopsy to detect tumor-related DNA from blood. As abnormal demethylation in one of the hallmark in cancer, also different cancers have a different demethylation patterns we could use those to detect cancer and separate which kind of cancer uh, from blood uh, cell-free DNA. However, the mean amount of DNA from a tumor cell requires very high depth sequencing, so the targeted capture is needed, which makes the selection best mark origin um, to target the key. So this work is about to find the best uh, distinguish markers that can be not can not only detect cancer but also point to other cancer origins. The material and the method. In this lab, we use the TCG demethylation data for nine cancer type. We pre process the demethylated data and remove the CPG that are not reliably detected. In total, we have 2,585 samples, including both tumor normal sample, tumor and normal samples. They are split to training and the testing dataset in 7 to 3 ratio. For the training dataset, we use it to select a universal marker by compare tumor and the normal sample. For the cancer specific marker, uh, we basically only use the cancer samples by compare one cancer type with all other cancer type. We also use the um, blood DNA uh, uh, isolation data as background uh, filter. So any CPG has a uh, blood DNA isolation greater than 0 0.05 are uh, removed. For site-specific cancer, we also compare the original TCG classification with the uh, reclassified cancer because we found the TCG original classification uh, do not reflect the cancer type. For example, um, TC, uh, TCG uh, colon cancer and rectal cancer are two different entities. In reality, they are not uh, separable. Also, in the esophageal uh, carcinoma, uh, esophageal carcinoma, um, we separate adenocarcinoma from squamous cell carcinoma because they are two different cancer types. We use the six machine learning model uh, to the marker selected uh, to evaluate their best combination in cancer um, uh, detection. We also use the, uh, our internal general RBS data to validate the result. RBS data is sequence based uh, because they don't uh, they don't necessarily cover the exact CPG. Uh, we exchange uh, two hundred BP window uh, to get a summary uh, summary measurement for a, 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 a CPG within that window. So here's a high level uh, result. At very stringent criteria, we select 223 CPG marker as a universal cancer marker. For the uh, among the six machine learning model, random forest and ElastNet perform the best. We end up to use ElastNet for all the analysis. By applying this ElastNet model in the test data, we got perfect sensitivity and point H3 specificity. The overall accuracy is 0.99. In the second validation data, uh, basically that's internally generated RBS data, we obtained accuracy of 0.8, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9
is sensitive to point 0.9 and the specificity of the point 0.7. In compared to original TCG classification with reclassified cancer type, we found that reclassified cancer type have a better uh, separation among different cancers. This uh, help uh, uh, find the better marker. So we use the reclassified cancer type for all the remaining analysis. In this analysis, they found 341 CPG markers. By applying this uh, um, elastic model to the uh, test data set, we got accuracy point nine seven for colorectal, liver, lung, and pancreatic cancer. We got almost perfect uh, uh, per, uh, accuracy, point uh, sensitivity specificity greater than point nine eight. There are slightly reduced sensitivity for biliary, esophageal, and stomach cancers. For the internal RBS data, we got sensitivity specific greater than 0.95 for liver, colorectal, lung adenocarcinoma. However, there's some crossover between esophageal and stomach adenocarcinoma, esophageal and lung squamous cell carcinoma, and pancreatic adenocarcinoma and lung squamous cell carcinoma. In summary, here's some take-home message. We said select a set of CPG markers that are highly distinguish, uh, dis discriminative between cancer and the normal sample, also between different cancer types. Those markers can be used for future uh, target sequencing from the plasma samples. Reclassification of TCG uh, cancer help find help find a better marker uh, in different cancer um, uh, differential diagnosis. Esophageal adenocarcinoma and gastric carcinoma have high similarity. Uh, they're, they're a little bit hard to uh, it's kind of hard to distinguish between the two. Uh, in reality, the two kinds of types are highly similar in anatomic position, also a, uh, the origin of the cells. In the future, the two kinds can be merged, also between the esophageal and the long squamous cell carcinoma. Although RBS data set can be largely validated or finding from microwave. There's some difference between the two platforms. Uh, generally, get reduced performance. That's because we use a surrogate uh, DNA methylation instead of original CPG. The surrogate is the regional measurement. It's not the original CPG. Uh, so that's all uh, I have. If you have more questions, uh, you can take, uh, contact me or uh, take a look. Uh, or poster. Thank you.